I think, you know, everybody grew a lot. I mean, um, there's a lot of guys that, a lot of new faces, a lot of new pitchers. Um, but our freshman class is really good. Um, and then the guys, especially our sophomores, you can just see them kind of mature over this fall with you know, what we did or their swing or mental game, stuff like that. Um, they really done a great job. Everyone's bought in to what we're trying to do with our culture. And so everybody's just really grown a lot this fall. Last year put a beating on you physically as many games as you caught? Nah, not really. I mean, it gets tiring at times, but I mean, we have uh, Travis, our trainer, does a really great job of keeping our bodies uh, healthy and, you know, just uh, – you really got to focus on stretching and keeping your body in shape. You know, catching a lot of games is, it's tough, but I mean, that's what I signed up for. So that's what I want to do. And you just kind of grind through it. When you guys lose the bats that you're losing this offseason, do you put any more pressure on yourself that you got to be more of a guy in the, you know, on the offensive side? You want to because, you know, it's like, man, we're losing two guys that hit almost 40 home runs together. So I don't think you necessarily need to try to do that because that's not going to happen. What you got to do is just try to just stay within yourself and realize that, you know, instead of hitting home runs, you know, doubles, singles, that's that kind of thing. Um, driving in runs, you can't try to can't try to be somebody or not. And I think that's this team. Obviously, we're not going to hit the, as many home runs as we did last year. We'll still hit some, but not as many. So I think we really got to focus on what we do best and do that. You're a guy that broke out last year offensively a little bit. What was the biggest difference to you? going from year one to year two, especially from the I'd say, honestly, the biggest thing would be confidence. Um, freshman year was kind of, I got thrown into the fire when Chris got hurt. And it was kind of like, oh, man, what do I do? And then last year, uh, Coach Lee told me, he said, hey, you're our guy. You're, you're the catcher. So it gave me a lot of confidence to um, just go out there and say, yeah, I can do this. And also just working with our coaching staff on the swing and just building that confidence in the cages and the preparation that you do and the work that you put in. So that's probably the biggest difference. So Garrett Sharp had a good fall. What have you seen from him and, and some of those other young pitchers over the fall? I mean, they just have a lot of maturity for guys that are that young. Uh, you don't see that at a lot of pitchers, just uh, the ability to throw the pitches where they want to or, um, you know, off speed and 2-0 counts, 1-0 counts just to get ahead or get back even. And uh, they just do a great job of their location um, and buying into what our coaches are telling us. The way last season ended, how much motivation is that giving you and the team as a whole as you go into this year? You know, that's even last year, the past two years, it's been the same thing. And uh, it gives us a lot of motivation just to say, you know, that's not who we are. It's not what we want to be identified as. Um, so it definitely just pushes us um, in everything that we do just to work harder in the weight room, on the field, off the field, because we don't want to feel that again. Talked about working on your swing. You got, you have a great gap to gap kind mm -hmm. of bat. But so, what have you worked on? Uh, just, uh, I mean, this year, last year was more of the bat path and things like that. Like you said, driving the ball gap to gap. This year, it's just working on, you know, how can I take that and build off of it. You know, you don't want to change anything, but you want to make it better. And so, just trying to maybe drive the ball a little bit more, load a little earlier, get be more on time. Just little things that could help it. <laughs> As a catcher, how do you have to change with the new pitchers coming in? How do you have to change your defensive game? Well, you have to adapt to how they pitch. You know, with the with my setup or the way they're throwing, the way their ball moves. You got to know each pitcher, and that's just a lot of a lot of practice. Because um, one guy's ball might move this way, the other one might go the other way. So you just got to know um, what they're trying to do as pitchers and what they do well. And once I really learn and build a good relationship with them, I can. My job is to help them throughout the game. You know, it's not just them out there on the mound. I got to help them too. So I build a relationship with them so I can learn you know, what they do best, what they need to do, what they need to hear, mental cues, things like that, to uh, just to just kind of help them along. Hogan said the two of you have developed a really good friendship. Uh, how has that helped you on the field? And, and how would you compare the chemistry on the team to what you had last year? With me and Logan? Oh, just the chemistry on oh, the just, team. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, last year we had good chemistry, but this year, just throughout the fall, you could tell that it was, it was something that we hadn't seen in a while, and it was just uh, pretty awesome to see these guys. You can go in the locker room, and everybody's talking, having a good time. You know, there's no, there's no arguments, there's no nothing like that. We all get along and hold each other accountable, and I think that's what's going to make us a really good ball club this year, is because, you know, 
this constructive criticism kind of thing. It's not like, oh, this guy's just telling me this. It's he's trying to help me out. And I think once you've learned that, that's really where we get, uh, um, we're able to build on our chemistry.